I have numerous examples of these networks of abuse and the individuals involved publicly exposed on my websites. Since I have been non-violently campaigning in and around Edinburgh against these crimes, I have been arrested around eight times by Lothian and Borders Police over the last two years. Although I have been charged with breach of the peace and failing to give a DNA sample on each of these arrests, I have been found guilty on only one charge of breach of the peace of which I was admonished. The circumstances to my last arrest, however, were a little different. I was arrested for taking video footage of a corrupt police officer who had previously falsified criminal charges and blatantly lied in court toward my possible conviction and imprisonment. After being arrested by this police officer for this action, I was remanded in jail before being taken in front of Procurator Fiscal Smith at the Edinburgh Sheriff Court. Procurator Fiscal Smith immediately lied to the court by stating that I had a history of similar offences, conveniently omitting the fact that I had been found not guilty on all charges bar one. The Procurator Fiscal then, while mumbling under his breath so that I would not be able to hear him, suggested that, because of my history, I should be detained for psychiatric reports. Along with my trial, which was a kangaroo court, as well as, the, as, well as this corrupt act to veil the truth, I am presently being detained in the Royal Edinburgh Hospital in a clinic for the criminally insane. Since my three months incarceration as a political prisoner, I have also been forcibly injected nine times against my will with high doses of antipsychotic drugs whilst being held down by numerous hospital staff. This major human rights abuse for taking video footage of a corrupt police officer is just one of the numerous cover-ups toward my dedication to expose government child abuse. I should be out in the street non-violently campaigning and not incarcerated and drugged up like an insane criminal. Please do whatever you can to rectify this matter, not for my sake, but for all the children who deserve safety and justice for the crimes perpetrated against them.